What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to do a quick video and tell you guys what happened to me today. Now you guys know recently I did the video on PlayStation Pro's boost mode which basically uh, allows the PS4 Pro to overclock and run games at a higher frame rate making lots of games that weren't even upgraded for the Pro run better. Uh, I saw a video on Digital Foundry this morning when I got to work and I was like wow it actually really works. And so it made me really excited. So I decided early this morning I would go on a journey uh, to, to get me a PlayStation 4 Pro. So I uh, started looking on Craigslist around noon and uh, I found a seller down here in Georgia who had a picture of a PlayStation 4 Pro and they had it for 300 bucks. So I was like, wow, that's a, a good deal. It's brand new in the box, $300. Uh, so I sent a text to the guy and I asked him uh, if he still had it and if, if he had it, he could drop it off at my job or uh, I could pick it up on the way home. And so this particular person told me uh, that he lived in the same vicinity as me and that uh, it wouldn't be a problem for me to pick it up on the way home. So I said, fine, all right, I'll, I'll get it on the way home. I'll let my wife know and I'm gonna go ahead and get a pro. I'm excited about this thing. And so, but you guys know I make videos all the time about Craigslist and, and the way you deal with people on Craigslist because there's a lot of shady stuff that happens on Craigslist. And so. We agreed uh, to meet in my neighborhood after I got off work. I, I texted him a few times as soon as I got off. Didn't get a response, and finally I got a response back. I tried calling the number. Uh, they wouldn't answer the phone. But he texted me back and said, oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll meet you in, in the city uh, at 4 o'clock. So I said, okay, um, would you like to meet at the police station? And he responded back. I didn't know if it was a he or a she at this time, but he responded back. He said, police station? Why would I want to go to a police station? I said, why wouldn't you want to go to a police station? We're talking about exchanging hundreds of dollars here. And uh, I think it's the smartest thing for people to be able to make these kind of exchanges, you know, around the police station. And then I responded back almost immediately and said, as long as it's in a public place where lots of people can see, I'm fine with it. Like I said, I'm a big guy. I'm not really worried about, you know, people jacking me. But, you know, a gun is the great equalizer. You always got to be aware. And so this guy, he said, um, can we meet at Zaxby's? Zaxby's is a chicken place down south. I said, sure, I'll meet you at Zaxby's. And um, I said, what time? He said, four o'clock. So I went to the bank, you know, withdrew a few hundred dollars. I went up to Zaxby's and I got there at 4.02. And I got out of my vehicle and I looked around, didn't see anybody. There was lots of cars in the parking lot, but nobody was really in them uh, waiting for me. So I walked inside and I had a seat and I texted the guy. I said, I'm here. He didn't get a response. I waited for 10 minutes. I said, I'm getting ready to leave here. Are you still coming? And then he saw that text. He said, oh man, I'm sorry. I'll be there in 10 minutes. And so at this time, I'm getting apprehensive because you know, if you're dealing with someone who's already this unreliable, you can't count on them. More than likely, something's gonna go wrong. And it makes you wonder what's taking this person so long. They said they live in the same city as you. They said four o'clock, here it is, almost 4.15. So I told him in the next text, I said, I'll wait for 10 minutes, but after 10 minutes, I gotta get home. And so after about 15 more minutes, I was getting ready to just walk out, the guy called me. And he said, hey, um, I'm at the light, right by the Zaxby's. Uh, what car are you in? I said, I'm not in a car. I'm inside the restaurant. He said, oh, uh, can you come out? I said, what kind of car are you in? He said, um, a Challenger. And I said, yeah, I'll come out. And so I went outside. My wife called me immediately and asked what's going on. I told her I was waiting for this guy. So I waited outside for another five minutes. Silly me, right? I'm outside waiting. And finally, I see this Challenger pull in real slow. Some hood type cat gets out of the car. I walk, I, you know, I'm slow to approach. You know, I, I don't play that kind of stuff. I kept my distance. You know, and I waited for the guy to open the door and uh, he kind of waved me on. And so I, I, I slowly approached and I was watching the guy. I said, hey, man, no offense, no offense. But you got to be, you know, you got to be cautious. These are crazy times and you never know what kind of person is trying to get over on you. And he said, yeah, man, I feel you, Shouty. He smelled like weed, uh, probably caught a contact. And uh, he proceeded to go around to his trunk. You know, in my defensive mind, I'm, I'm like very paranoid. I'm constantly thinking of what to do in crazy situations. I'm expecting a midget to jump out of the trunk with a shotgun. So I'm like, on, you know, I'm ready to go. 
And so I'm standing back. The guy opens up his trunk, and what do I see? What do I see, guys? A fucking PlayStation 4 Slim. <laughs> a PS4 Slim in the box with a big yellow sticker on it that said $2.99. So this guy is trying to sell me a PS4 Slim, which costs $249.99 US for $300 under the premise that it's a PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah. So this is happening. <laughs> So I look at the box, and he starts to reach for it. I say, hey, man, that's not a pro. He's like, huh? The guy is high as shit. He's like, huh? I said, that's not a PlayStation Pro. He said, it ain't. What do you mean? I said, that's a PlayStation 4 Slim. That's not the pro. I said, I don't need that. And he said, oh, man, we got two of them. I think I grabbed the wrong box. <laughs> so at this point, I'm backing up, you know, because this guy, I know he can smell the money walking away. I said, well, just call me if you guys have a pro. And I walked over to my, my vehicle, got inside, uh, and um, I backed up. And, you know, I beeped. The guy was getting in his car. He was looking like he was trying to get on his phone. He was full of shit at this point. There would be no chance of me conducting any business with this guy from this point forward. So I looked at him, you know, as a farewell. I said, just call me if you have a pro. And so I left out of there, and I was like, these pe this is scandalous people out there, man. You gotta be super cautious. Not only is he trying to sell you a regular PS4, trying to sell it upcharge you fifty dollars. <laughs> the guy's worse than GameStop. So what did I do? I called Kate. I told her what happened, and she's my wife is always worried about me. She said, "Just don't deal with anybody else on Craigslist." I said, "I don't." You know, I, I usually don't. And I, I was like, "Well, I saw a few more sales on Craigslist, but I told her I said, let me just I'll just go on to GameStop and pick up one.'" So I went over to GameStop. Oh, this thing is heavy. And I bought the Pro. And, um, I haven't even opened it up yet. The tape's still on the box. But yeah, I bought the Pro from GameStop. Cost me, you know, $130 more, but ultimately it was worth it. Your safety is the most important thing. Uh, you know, I always share videos with you guys about people doing crazy stuff. As a matter of fact, some of the videos I've done haven't even gone up yet on the channel in public. But there are people out there who do crazy things behind these, behind small little insignificant pieces of plastic that really are not worth anything. People get hurt, people get killed, and you gotta be careful. But that was my PlayStation Pro story. And I figured I'd come home, take a shower, and share it with you guys. Because you never know what you're going to get into, but this is the one terabyte. I don't know how the corner of this box got damaged. It was like that when I took it out of the damn GameStop bag. That's probably why I stuck it in the bag so quick. But I got the one terabyte, and I was considering sticking this in the living room uh, and just playing my PS4 Pro stuff in the living room because I'm getting ready to get a 4K TV too. But then I thought about it. The PlayStation VR works much better with the PlayStation 4 Pro. And so I'm haggling my wife. I'm talking to her. She doesn't really care. But I told her, maybe I'll just keep the Pro in the office, in the studio, and I'll put the original PS4 out there for, like, Blu-rays and stuff like that. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Crazy, crazy Craigslist stuff, man. you got to be careful. People will take advantage of you. I hope you guys are having a great week. I really am. It's about to get a lot better. I hope you guys are having a good time. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Share the video on all your favorite social media. If you want to support the channel, you can do it at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.